How's it going everybody? Hope you're well. Welcome back to Music with Michelle and welcome to my first reaction to the brand new Grogan's album Find Me A Cloud. I'm a big fan of these boys. I've listened to all their previous albums and I actually had the pleasure of seeing them a few months ago in London and I'm actually going to see them in about two weeks time as well in their London show during their new tour. So hopefully a few of the songs on here will be played live as well. But yeah, I'll be doing a tier list throughout my reaction and I'll explain that a bit more when we get to it. But for now, let's get straight into the first song which is called Hey Man. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was the first song, Hey Man. But before we do get into that, I just wanted to run through the tier list I mentioned at the start of the video. I'm pretty sure you guys know how a tier list works, but in case you don't, pretty much the higher the tier, the more I like the song. Bottom tier there, you can see we have Miss. Now, this is for when I just think a song just isn't good at all. You know, has no kind of quality about it. It's just a complete miss. The one above that is not for me. You know, sometimes a song is okay, but it's just not really for you. It's not really your cup of tea. Middle tier, we have Re-Listen. Sometimes these songs take a couple of listens to kind of understand if you like it or not. In the penultimate tier, we have Straight to my playlist now if any songs go in here pretty much means that i like it straight away and i want to listen to it again and then the very top tier we have money will chase you now this top tier i try and name after a song from the artist that i really like and you know what is my favorite song from the artist and it's quite hard to choose from the grogans because i've listened to all their albums now and they've got some fantastic tracks in their discography but I think Money Will Chase You has a special place in my heart and it's the first song I ever listened to from the Grogans and I've got to say it's still my favourite. There's a few that are kind of competing with it but yeah, Money Will Chase You is still my favourite so if any of these songs go into that tier it means that I like it on the level of Money Will Chase You and I think it's, you know, some of their best work. So getting into the very first song on the album, Hey Man, a very strong start to the album, very energetic. It does feel very similar to what we've heard from the Grogans so I don't think this album will be taking a completely different path. I think it's still staying in the kind of Grogan style, which is, you know, not a bad thing at all because I think their music's great. And yeah, they kind of have their own sort of distinct style. And I got to say, this song here really gave me some sort of 60s rock vibes, like Beatles-esque vibes, and especially the chorus as well. That little riff really kind of reminded me of Day Tripper. And yeah, I love that riff in the chorus. I really like the drums as well. Some of the drums were absolutely fantastic. The feels were great. And I imagine this will be a really good live song as well because they really bring the energy to the live show. So I'm kind of hoping they play this one already because I've only heard it once, but I'm a big found this one straight away i don't think it's their best work but um i will say that it's gonna go straight to my playlist yeah initial impressions on the first song is you know very positive now let's get straight into song number two which is called overheat Straight away, I really like this one already. Something about that like moody guitar in the background. I really like this. Yes, I'm a hit. My back sticks to the seat, 30 degrees. And I get out, out of my seat. I stand up and get second. Degree burns on my feet. Open the door and I. Okay, I gotta say, I absolutely love that song. Now, I don't wanna keep comparing each song to a different song from another artist, but, you know, where the last one sounded a bit like the Beatles and uh, Day Tripper, this one, you know, kind of reminded me of About a Girl by Nirvana, the chords that are being played. And I think one of the things that I really like about the Grogans and why they kind of stand out to me as a band is because, you know, the songs they make aren't entirely complex, obviously easy to say when you're not writing a song, but nothing is entirely, like, over the top too complex. Their music's pretty grounded, you know, but they just add their own, like, personality 
personality to it and I think that's what makes them such a addictive band to listen to and that's why I'm always like really looking forward to hearing more from them because yeah they just seem like they have this knack of making like really catchy songs and I seriously think that is harder to do than some people probably think because from a baseline the songs probably aren't that complicated but making it enjoyable and making it kind of addictive because like right now I want to go back and listen to that song straight away like I really really enjoyed that one I can't really put my finger on why I really enjoyed it but it was just quite a positive song and I will say I do kind of like these slower grogan songs like some of my favorite songs from them like like how would you know and money will chase you they're all a bit more slow and you know their music tends to be a bit more faster like this one but i feel like this was like a happy middle ground between the two it was, i don't know it's just something about it like it felt like a really sort of visual song you know like i can imagine listening to this somewhere in australia on the coast because i will say i know they are australian but this song they sounded very <laughs> australian but yeah again i, I love the i actually, absolutely love this song and yeah i tell you what i wasn't expecting any of them on here this early to go you know where i'm gonna put this but i'm gonna put it straight at the top i really really like that one and i want to listen to it straight away again and i think with the grogans it's really easy to tell when i really like one of their songs i can definitely tell straight away that i'm gonna like this one so i'm putting it at the top and yeah it's been a really really good start so far but let's move on to song number three that number three we have cannot read your mind now i think this one was released as a single but i chose not to listen to this one because i did listen to three other songs that ended up being on this album yeah even though it was released a little while ago i haven't heard it so this will be my first time listening <laughs> Okay, that was number three, I Cannot Change Your Mind. And yeah, I think this kind of goes back to what I said in the previous song where, you know, the, the songs I prefer from the Grogan's are the slower paced ones more than the fast paced ones. Doesn't mean I don't like this one. Um, I, I think it's still a good song and I think it would be a fantastic song live as well. I really like the rhythm and the pacing for the most part, you know, in the chorus especially, I really like that rhythm. You know, it kind of really differentiated between the rest of the song i think if it kept that pace throughout it would have been a bit monotonous so i think the the chorus worked really well and uh, yeah i really like the guitar parts plus the the vocals are fantastic i think the lead singer's got a great voice and as i said i think it would be a really good live song but yeah i think my personal preference after listening to all the grogan's albums is to have the kind of more riff heavy or the kind of slower pace ones these ones are as kind of like power chords throughout aren't as appealing to me but at the same time i still think it's a good song just i think coming off of overheat which was the previous song i think yeah i don't like this one as much so i think what i'll do is i'll put it in i'll put it in re-listen for now i wouldn't say that it's a song that i didn't enjoy i just think i should probably listen to it a few more times but as i said i think it would be a very good live song so you know if they do play it live in their show in a couple of weeks i'm sure my opinion might change but for now i'll put it into re-listen okay up next number four we have layback Where did that come from? Right, this song is really cool. Okay, that was a really, really cool song. I feel like they've taken quite a lot of inspiration from sort of old rock, you know, like 60s, 70s rock. I'd say that's a bit of a pattern between most of their albums. They always feel like they've taken a lot of sort of inspiration from other music periods, but I feel like 
you know, so far, if this was someone who kind of grew up in the, you know, 60s, 70s, listening to all that kind of rock music, I feel like they would really appreciate this album so far because it does feel like a bit of a blast from the past, but also bringing it in a sort of more modern light, you know, bringing their own twist on it because you see a lot in like hip hop music of like beat switches, especially like on the new Drake album, there's quite a lot of beat switches, but you don't see it a lot in kind of rock alternative music, but you saw it here, you know, like 30, 45 seconds, wherever it was into the song, the pace just amplified. And then it kind of went full circle towards the last 30 seconds when it went back to the original pacing. And I thought that was really cool because it makes for such like a unique listening experience, especially when you're listening to a whole album, you know, songs back to back to back. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving this so far, honestly. I really like the the, uh, the pace in this one. I really like the drums as well. Like that kick drum is so powerful. I think what I like as well is that it does just literally feel like three best mates making music, which it is what it is. That's what they do. And it, yeah, I don't know. It just, it, it feels like really cohesive. You know, it feels like they're all like, you can tell they're best mates just by the way they're playing music. But yeah, I really like this so far. Not sure I put this one at the very top, but it's definitely going straight to my playlist. I know I said that I prefer the kind of slower ones to the faster paced ones, but when you have the variety in that song like we did, you know, I also appreciate that as well. Okay, next up, number five, and it is Heads in the Sand. So far, I can really tell that it's one of those songs that the, the more it goes on, the better it is. You know, at the start, you're like, ah, do I like this one or not? But it's already repeated the riff a few times. I'm already starting to like it even more. Yep, I'm a big fan of that one. Once again, kind of like a happy medium between the fast stuff and the kind of slower stuff, but then incorporating that riff, kind of more riff heavy music that I like. I really appreciate as well how the kind of chorus wasn't really a chorus necessarily. It was just kind of the riff playing over itself. And I thought that was quite unique actually using like the bridge or the chorus just as the kind of ongoing riff. But when the vocals did come in, the vocals were brilliant, you know, like really stretched out vocals. Just another really good song. And honestly, so far it's been such a, such a solid album. And I've kind of noticed that with their albums, they seem to get better and better with each one they release you know they don't kind of deviate too much in terms of their actual music it all kind of stays in the same sort of path but they just seem to get better and better at making music as time goes on heads in the sand really really good song do i think it's one of their best no but i think it's not too far off you know so i'm going to put it straight into my playlist but yeah another great example of that you know taking a, a song that isn't necessarily too complex but just making it really unique and making it enjoyable and making it kind of addictive because again it's another one that i just want to listen to straight away okay next up at number six we have a song called can't stand now this one was released as a single during the build-up to the album and i have listened to it so i won't bother reacting to it i won't spend too much time on it either uh yeah it's another song that i really liked it's gonna go straight to my playlist and it has you know been in my playlist since i first listened to it and i've been listening to it on repeat ever since so yeah another really solid song and uh yeah let's move on to song number seven and song number seven is called i need you
Okay, that was number seven, I Need You. And I've got to say, that's probably the first song on the album that just didn't really click with me. It felt kind of repetitive and I kind of felt myself almost like drifting away, listening to it, not really concentrating on the music. It didn't really grab me in or pull me in any any way, really. Like it felt, yeah, it felt just pretty boring, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's a pretty rudimentary riff that's playing throughout. The vocals were, you know, good, but nothing kind of special. But yeah, there wasn't really like a distinct, you know, like uniqueness to this song. It just felt pretty monotonous throughout. And I think I'll probably say that it might be the first song that goes into Not For Me. Um, yeah, there's nothing about it really pulled me in or didn't find it very appealing in any way, really. But I mean, considering we're now seven songs into the album and that's the first song that I haven't really liked, I still think that's a really good thing. Chances of you liking every single song on the album, quite low. So it was bound to happen at some point. But for it to happen seven songs in, is quite impressive. Yeah, not really a big fan of that one. But yeah, let's move on to uh, song number eight, which is called Nowhere To Be. Now, this was the first single they released during the build up to this album. And it actually came out quite a long time ago because I remember I actually reacted to their first album. I actually I haven't released a video yet, but I reacted to their first album. And as soon as I finished doing that, they released this song. Yeah, it's been out for quite a while now. I think quite a few months. Um, and what I'll say is that I haven't really listened to it ever since. I listened to it the first couple of days, but since then, haven't really paid any attention to it. So I can't really say I've heard it too much. Um, I do remember what the song is and, you know, I won't bother reacting to it, but I'll probably say that I'm going to put it into re-listen because I think I should give it, you know, a, a, a few more goes. But I'll, all I'll say is that, you know, compared to Can't Stand, for example, I listened to that a lot more since it's come out, since Nowhere To Be. So yeah, I'll put Nowhere To Be in a re-listen. It was a bit more of a fast paced one, so that might kind of be the reason, but yeah. I haven't really heard it since it came out. So yeah, I'll put that one into re-listen. And yeah, let's move on to song number nine, which is called Stay High. Little slide guitar in the background. I like that. I'll be honest, I wasn't really expecting a song like that, but you know, that's kind of nice. That was a nice little happy, kind of go lucky song. Some country vibes in there as well with the slide guitar, which was actually really interesting. Don't think I've ever heard slide guitar on a Grogan song actually off the, off the top of my head. Yeah, that was, a, that was a nice sort of positive song, you know? Kind of feels like the kind of song you play during like the encore of a live gig or something like that. Very different though, and I think that's good. It's good to have variety in your music, especially, you know, in this kind of genre, rocky genre, rocky alternative, whatever you want to call it. It's nice to have some variety and yeah, it's a different pace compared to a lot of other songs on here, but I gotta say, I, I really did really did enjoy it. For me, it was the, the slide guitar that really sold it. You know, hearing that, I'm, I'm like a massive, massive fan of a slide guitar and I don't feel like it's utilized that much in music, probably a lot in country music and stuff, but yeah, you, it, this shows that it can kind of work across multiple genres. So I do like it when more rocky, sort of music includes slide guitar. So for me, that's an absolute win straight away. Uh, but overall, I thought it was just a really nice song, really positive song, some good vibes. And for that reason, I'll put it straight into my playlist. Okay, so we've only got two songs left and at song number 10, we have I'm Not Sure. Now, I actually did a reaction to this song on this channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So I won't talk about it too much in case you want to go ahead and watch that song reaction. Yeah, I won't bother reacting to it again. But what I will say is I absolutely love that song. Definitely more on the slower side. So I really did appreciate that. But yeah, a really, really nice song. Kind of like a typical Grogan song. Yeah, I can definitely see why it's placed here in the album after listening to the rest of the songs. Um, but yeah, it, this one came out quite a, quite, a, quite a while ago, actually, I think. About three, four months off the top of my head. So um, I have been listening to it ever since as well. And yeah, I'm a big fan of this song. I wouldn't say it's their best. I wouldn't put it, you know, at the very top. But I will put it straight into my playlist. But as I mentioned, if you want to go see my full reaction to that song, then I'll leave a link to it in the description. Okay, and that leaves us with one more song, which is song number 11, Daydreamed. Okay, so as I mentioned, I have reacted to every Grogan's album and I will be releasing them on this channel sometime soon. So, you know, if you like the sound of that, please feel free to subscribe. But one thing I did notice without spoiling too much is that every or most of the last songs on these albums always, you know, like 
tip like mm, like top of the bunch like i absolutely love the last songs on the albums they're always a lot more sort of melancholic look my heart felt a bit more slow so let's see if the trend continues with this one which is called daydreamed and uh yeah let's get straight into the final song What was that? I like it though. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that is, I hope that kind of vindicates what I was talking about in terms of the slower versus the more fast pace, because I think that song literally just encapsulated like my music taste in the song. I mentioned before that usually the last songs are usually uh, something a bit different, a bit more melancholic, a bit more heartfelt, and it definitely didn't disappoint on this one here as well. I think what a way to end an album. That's an absolutely brilliant way to end an album. And oh, I don't know, it just, it's something about this kind of music. It's almost like, like bending genres, you know, because in that song there, you had the little piano that came in every now and then. It wasn't that prominent, but it did come in every now and then, like a key here and there. You had the slide guitar returning, that sort of like, I don't know what that sound was at the start and the end, kind of, it was one at the start, one at the end, it kind of brought it all together, but it was just a little sound, like a doo, and then there was, yeah, the slide guitar, the piano, the, oh, just, that was absolutely beautiful, I absolutely love that, honestly, it's, it's my, my kind of music that is, honestly absolutely brilliant and yeah like remnants of like neil young kind of like i'm talking about like bending genres this one definitely had some like neil young-esque vibe to it and it's almost like if lord huron created a australian indie band that's what it kind of sounded like absolutely brilliant but again you know unique in its own way and honestly the perfect way to end an album and yeah i think you can tell by my reaction where this song is going to go it's going straight to the top i think overheat was the second song i want to say and now this one's the last one so yeah my, my two favorite songs have been at the start and the very end but that has got to be up there one of my favorite grogan songs that's honestly probably got to be up there for one of my favorite songs of the year like that was incredible absolutely love that one i'm gonna to listen to it straight away and yeah just what a fantastic way to end an album okay so that was the album done which means this is my final tier list as you can see we have no songs in the mist which i you know i didn't think there was going to be any anyway we have one song in not for me which was i need you two songs in the re-listen then we have six songs in straight into my playlist and then we have two songs at the very top my two favorite songs of the album which is overheat and daydreamed so let me know in the comments what you thought of my tier list you know do you agree with it is there some songs that should be in different placements and yeah do let me know what your favorite song on the album was okay so that's my first reaction to the brand new grogan's album find me a cloud and i gotta say i'm massively happy with how this project turned out you know i wasn't expecting anything different really from the band because you know they just seem to be getting better and better with every album they put out it's always a great day when they release new music because they very rarely miss and i've got to say yeah this album is full of fantastic songs and i think this album kind of adds to this kind of emergence that's coming from australia in this kind of indie alternative music scene you know it kind of started with like tame impala all the way back in like the early 2010s but then you've seen bands like dmas pond rum jungle ocean alley skeggs you know there's so many examples of some great bands that are coming out of australia and they're putting out this fantastic music and the grogans are no exception to that i think their discography now is quite dense actually considering 
They've only been the band for, I think it's like six or seven years now. And I think, yeah, hats off to their work ethic because they're constantly on tour. They're always making new albums. It's like a two year release cycle at this point. Every two years they put an album out. And okay, they're not the longest albums ever, 11 songs, but you know, the time and the effort that you can tell gets put into these albums, definitely on show here. And yeah, I think they've got a fantastic work ethic. They they literally did a tour in the UK in, I think it's the end of May, start of June or European tour. And now they're already back in Europe and they're selling out venues as well, which is great to see because they definitely deserve it. They're, 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 you know, all three of them are fantastic band. They're great live. And I think they deserve all the success they get. And I really hope this is an album that propels them to another level as well. Because I think, you know, the music really does justify them, you know, becoming more of a bigger player in this kind of scene. And as I mentioned, I think, yeah, this, this group of Australian musicians that are coming out, you know, we're going to see a lot more bands come through in the future as well a lot more good music to come from them and yeah hopefully we can see a lot more from the grogans as well because i can't off the top of my head i think this might be their fifth or sixth album and they're just being progressively getting better and better so yeah i'm you know excited to see where they go next but yeah very very happy with this project and i've briefly mentioned throughout this video that i have reacted to all of the grogans albums and i will be releasing them in chronological order on the channel sometime soon so if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy you know grogan's reactions and any kind of music related to the Grogan's and in the alternative music then please feel free to subscribe and look out for those videos which will be coming out in the next few weeks and months and plus there'll be a lot more music related content coming onto this channel and I just want to say a big thank you if you've made it this far into the video again please let me know in the comments below what you thought of the album leave a like if you enjoyed it and I hope you have a nice day